So Yaku, I've got a piece of B4 level Kevlar in my hand. This is what we use to protect against 44 Magnum. And I think you've got it around here somewhere. Correct, the 44 Magnum is almost the biggest you can get in handguns. Um, if you compare this to an AK, you'll see it's not a baby. It's a substantial round. But I've got a challenge for you today. So surely, this one layer doesn't stop AK-47, we know, but I've got something here. I've got two more layers. So surely three layers of Kevlar, B4 level, should be able to stop AK. That's a question we get quite often from customers. And during our ballistic research, it's things we have tested before. But I think it's time for you to see what happens. Let's shoot. Three, two, one. Yeah, I'm actually disappointed. I must say B4 plus B4 plus B4 doesn't equal B6. Nope. If we take it out, this little mark there, there's a mark there, and the final one has got a mark, but the worst part is at the back. Yes, it's gone through. So I think even another layer wouldn't have helped. Yes, the problem with the AK round is because it's pointed, it simply pushes between all the fibers. So we actually need something hard to first deform the round before we hit the backing material. So that is why when you buy a SVI B6 armored vehicles, you will find armored steel in the vehicle or specialized composite materials, but not Kevlar.